in this video uh, we will learn to perform molecular dynamic simulation by using Desmond and uh, this is the second part uh, in first part I have told you that uh, uh, how we install Desmond on Linux because uh, we can pre-process the data on Windows uh, by Schrodinger but uh, we cannot perform simulations uh, by using uh, Windows operating system so for this purpose uh, we need a Linux operating system or Macintosh um, you can use any distribution of Linux operating system okay uh, first of all uh, we must have a protein and ligand complex so here we have it uh, this is the result of the docking you can uh, make this complex by um, docking so let's start the interface of uh, windows and uh, linux operating system of this maestro is same and uh, this all steps are same so uh, we will uh, pre-process the data on windows operating system and uh, then we will go for a molecular dynamic simulation uh, on linux in first step uh, we will open protein preparation wizard uh, you can either open it from this this tab or uh, you can also search it in task uh, just write protein so here this is a protein preparation wizard you can also bookmark uh, your desired panels by just uh, clicking on this static and this will be added to this uh, tab Here are different options. Uh, first of all, we will browse our complex. Okay, it will show you different warnings, but at this step, uh, don't worry about these warnings. Just click on OK. Okay, now there are different parameters and different options. Uh, hydrogen bond, uh, assigning bond, uh, bond orders and disulfide bonds and there are some uh, options for filling the missing residues if your uh, protein have uh, missing residues if your pdb structure has missing residues you must uh, fill uh, those residues before performing the simulation uh, but please uh, if you uh, please select these options if only you have a very strong computer machine if your cpu if your processing unit is very very strong uh, then select these options uh, because this will take too much time so even to fill a one or two missing residues uh, this step is very long so if your protein have uh, missing residues instead of filling uh, it by using this maestro uh, just go to uh, modular so to avoid this uh, long uh, time calculation uh, just uh, you can uh, fill in these missing residues by using modular I have already prepared a series of uh, tutorials uh, how to fill in the missing residues and how to model a protein by using modular so that is comparatively less time consuming so uh, we will go with these parameters and just click on the pre-process and this will start the pre-processing of your protein and lichen complex at the end of the pre-processing and other structure pre-processed structure added to your project list so this is the important process and then go to review and modify okay uh, then click on analyze workspace and then click on generate stairs this step uh, will generate different modes different stairs of your ligand on the base of the hybridization
okay our selected ligand has only one state uh, now go to refine and we will use the uh, default parameters but if your protein has different pH other than natural pH uh, you can uh, change the pH for its pre-processing and just click on optimize this is a comparatively time consuming step and uh, then we will go for the minimization you can also minimize the hydrogen bonds it is incorporated and at the end of uh, optimization and other optimized structure added to your project list uh, now we will perform the minimization just click on minimize you can also monitor your job uh, by click on these jobs and then Here all events are recorded and uh, you can examine them if you want to know the more detail about the process. Okay, uh, minimization job is incorporated so uh, now our uh, protein and complex is ready it is pre-processed and is ready for simulation uh, for creating a grid in next step we will create a grid box around this complex and uh, then we select a uh, water model and then different parameters for this uh, uh, we will uh, use the panel system builder uh, you can also search this in taskbar this panel has uh, different parameters uh, first uh, we will select a solvent model uh, there are different solid models some are polar and some are non-polar as well uh, but mostly we use TIP 3P uh, it use OPLS 2005 force field and then uh, we will click on the show boundary box uh, it will automatically adjust the protein into this box if you click on just minimize volume Okay, it is uh, minimized and adjusted into the center of uh, this box and um, rest is uh, default you can also select different box shape this box shape you can also change it uh, but we will go with the default okay next we will uh, place the ions okay, we want to place ions uh, away from away 20 angstrom away from our ligand uh, because we do not want uh, interaction of ions with our uh, ion uh, with our ligand and protein so if we uh, place ions randomly uh, so the ions uh, those are uh, near to the ligand uh, those may uh, disturb the interaction of our ligand and our protein so uh, we will define an excluded region for this uh, we will enter 20 and then uh, by this click button we will select our ligand so to select the ligand just go to the residue residue type and this UNL this is our ligand click on add and then ok so our ligand is added to the excluded region and then just click on the recalculate in order to uh, neutralize the protein uh, we have to add some positive ions then to mimic the physiological environment we just add a 0.15 molar of uh, sodium chloride uh, 
after selecting these parameters just click on run and a system builder will create a virtual water box around our complex Okay, our job is incorporated uh, click on the system full system uh, you see uh, grid box is created around our protein and ligand okay, now we will save this complex go to file save project as and uh, choose your destination folder and just save your project In next step, uh, we will uh, start, we will run this simulation on our uh, Linux operating system. Uh, we will select the parameters and then we will go for the simulation and then we will analyze the results and then we will discuss the results. Thank you very much for your time.